Here we are at a primary school in Newtown. We're shooting a VR experience from the point of view of a child with hearing loss, trying to simulate the isolation that that child might feel without uh, the help of charities like the Shepherd Centre. I've got a child with hearing loss in my class, uh, Tyler, Tyler Pataka. In the classroom, if ever there's an opportunity to teach um, social skills around Tyler's hearing loss, we try and do that. We try and explain why it might be different when we interact with Tyler. I think the VR technology is going to allow the students and anyone that watches it to really sort of put them in the shoes of a child with hearing loss that hasn't been diagnosed yet. So to just see how frustrating or how confusing that could be, to not hear what the teacher's saying, to not be able to understand your friends, to not be able to participate in class or outside activities. I think it'll really give the kids a sense of empathy for their classmates and for Tyler as well. Hi, I'm Philippa Potaka. Um, I'm Tyler Potaka's mum. This virtual reality technology could be used for parents that have just found out that their child has been diagnosed with a hearing loss. There's always that million dollar question of what's it going to be like for my child. You never quite know what it's like for them. So to put on the headset and to actually transport myself into his body almost, it's like really quite something unique and special. I would love Tyler to feel like his classmates would do anything for him, would be there to support him, that they want to help him, they want to include him. I hope that he comes away from this experience feeling very loved and very much a part of this school community and this class community.